hello everyone so uh, today i will be explaining about the brain computer interfaces also known as the bci it's gonna be the basic uh, mechanism so that even the people who have no idea how the brain computer interfaces works they'll get some idea of its mechanism if you don't know know the entire uh, portion of bci you can read my blog that is mentioned in the uh, below in the description so yeah so basically the brain computer interfaces uh, means the direct connection between human brain to computers or human brains to neuroprosthetic external machine it can be uh, some external robotic arm or some external robotic devices via computers with the help of the machines and we'll be explaining it from the neuroscience perspective we want to get into the um, machine learning or the AI perspective yet it will be more complex we'll leave that for later so for now for this time we will only explain from neuroscience perspective so the BCIs have the three components the first one is the receiving stimulus or stimulating the second one is the reading stimulus and the last one is the machine learning and the execution so first uh, so there are the two types of stimulus first one is uh, they can receive stimulus and second one is they can stimulate so let me get to the next slide so you it will be more clear so this is a basic electroencephalography machine this is the most common method used to uh, study the human brain or the read the impulses from the human brain and it has this electrode cap or we call it brain cap you can see we have these uh, electrodes present in this cap that are responsible for either stimulating the human brain or receiving the impulses from coming out of the human brain that's why they are called uh, electrode cap or even commonly they are called brain cap so these electrodes they are of two types first one is that stimulates the human brain and the second one is the that can receive the stimulus so stimulating human brain is uh, in the more complex part of the brain computer interfaces so for now we will only talk about the receiving stimulus so for instance, uh, let's say these electrodes, they are responsible for uh, receiving uh, stimulus. So, okay, let me tell you how the stimulus works. Uh, for instance, we will take a subject or a participant and we will engage him uh, by giving him some complex mathematical problem. So as you can see, if a person he is involved in some complex mathematical problem, then the part of brain uh, engaged will be his frontal part, the frontal cortex of the human brain, right? So, and whenever he is wearing electrode cap and is performing some complex mathematical problem, there will be more uh, stimulus or some uh, stimulus going on in his prefrontal cortex, this uh, frontal cortex. And this, uh, these uh, electrodes, they receive the stimulus from this part. And the these monitors, uh, that re uh, they reach the uh, impulses coming out from the electrodes. So let me tell you how the stimulus works. So these are the uh, gaps between the two neurons. And these gaps are called as synapses. And the impulses are traveled in the form of neurotransmitters from these junctions from one neuron to another. So this section you can see the, uh, these are the neurotransmitters, and they are responsible for tra transferring the impulses from uh, one part to another. So let's get to the previous. So whenever the person or the participant is involved in some complex uh, mathematical problem, there are a lot of uh, neurotransmitters going through this frontal cortex and now we'll get to the machine learning and the execution so consider a person with a paralyzed hand let's say that we have a subject we'll just take an example let's say this person he has a uh, paralyzed hand so at first, this subject is uh, asked to think about moving his hand repeatedly. So, we'll just first we'll first we will teach him how to uh, think to move his hand. So, repeatedly, when you think about moving his hand, you can see in the ECG uh, uh, part in the ECG monitor there is a constant data. L let me make it simple to you. So, let's say there is an F type of a data. 
and if a person he thinks repeatedly the same thing the we can see the same data coming uh, through the uh, monitor and after getting this constant data we use uh, various machine learning and ai techniques uh, to teach the prosthetic arm for instance for this one case to learn this data so right now so whenever the uh, this machine he gets the constant the same data here he will use it uh, this his arm so let me get to the next slide to make it more simple so yeah for the first the subject is trained to think if you think some something then he gets the after receiving the constant data in the monitor so after getting the constant data in the monitor the then we know this uh, constant data that we are getting in the monitor it uh, for, for this case is about moving arms if uh, this person thinks 20 times uh, how to move his arm the the 20 times if you get a similar data then we know this data or this graph is for moving the arm whenever we get this uh, graph from the human brain it means the person wants to move his arm so we teach the uh, prosthetic arm by various machine learnings to execute this data so now whenever this uh, graph or this curve is uh, received by this arm then this arm starts moving so it's a direct connection now if a subject thinks about a moving arm the his prosthetic arms arm will move as well so i hope you guys uh, understand how it worked so this is a basic simple uh, uh, algorithm the basic mechanism how the brain machine interface works and thank you for staying uh, till the end and if you still have some confusion uh, uh wait for more videos in upcoming days and you can also check in the description below my blogs on the entire details on the how brain computer interfaces works so thank you